Well, first morning of scouting. Uh, off to a decent start. There, uh, there on the trail, I walked up on a group of does with one little forky buck. Um, John did say that he would shoot a forky on the first day, so um, we found John's buck, and he is not far up the trail. So, um, but anyways, then been glass in this higher country, and I uh, got a group of does spotted here. There's actually one with three legs getting around, but uh, yeah, I was about to move to a different glassing knob when I spotted a button there, but uh, I'm gonna glass on the you know, hike over to the next spot and keep covering country and uh, see if I can't find a good buck um, before the season starts up here. So stay tuned, we got weather coming this weekend and things are shaping up, getting excited. That was pretty crazy. Freaking doe right next to this backpacker's camp up in there. It's wild. Well, it's about the morning of my the last of the morning of the morning glass. But uh, yeah, anyways. Got into some higher country here, and uh, you can glass up in there, but uh, it's just not the time they're moving anymore. Pretty windy up here on these peaks, but uh, I would sit here and wait for the evening because the sun's going to be setting, hitting this side, which would be really nice, but I uh, really want to go over the, the unit as much as I can, cover some roads, and see, uh, just try to make more of a game plan. So. about probably about two and a half miles back to the truck but we'll do it and then we'll get on the road and check out the next spot. Where's your daddy? Dude, he's tiny. Is it the same one? Probably. Subway for the win tonight. No oregano though. It wasn't the $5 for long either. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, got in here last night. He's been here for a day. Um, I've seen one decent buck so far, about a 150, maybe 160, uh, four by or four point. Uh, we finally found a spot combating all the other hunters. And you can see the smoke from the fires is starting to come in all around us here. But we finally found a spot through a pretty bad road and then we get to the top of it and well, you know no, there's already right. another car here but we'll probably go meet him on the mountain one's better than 30 like that is with the other places but yeah. so we're gonna do some glassing tonight and we're gonna try and get up on this big knob here and look down at these quakies and see if we can't find a deer but uh, this this country is infested with mountain lions grizzly bears wolves hunters it's dangerous yeah, bald eagles. Pterodactyles. Yeah. But we're getting suited up here and then gonna go find a nice spot to sit in glass for the evening and hope to turn something up and John and Jacob are supposed to meet us out here tomorrow, so John's got another tag, but if anything's got antlers on it, he'll shoot it, so I think that'll be pretty easy for him. But this guy not so much, a little different, a little different story, so We'll see what we turn up. John, I'm getting this for you. <laughs> Tanner's bitching coming up this hill. It's too hot. It's too steep. I never Just wanted that. to document it for you. I, <laughs> I did say I was hot. I said it was steep. I said the air quality shakes all the smoke. Yeah. I did say that too. <laughs> 
It's warming up. It's his first hike. Yep. I didn't get a warm up one. I didn't get any calisthenics in before this. Found a little wallow. Just gotta keep going. Got about 300 feet to go. About to come to this saddle. Pull up my spot coming right here. I'll be able to see how smoky it is. That's where we're going. Takes an hour and a half to poop. Jeez. He's, he's about like the size of my bull that I shot. You can, you'll be able to see him again on the phone scope. Oh, there's another bull down below him. Finally, and John making it up the hill. Already saw two cows this morning. I think it's gonna top us over somewhere and hopefully be the first ones to shoot.
men are out here doing the work. Classic. It's a pretty country. I only heard two shots this morning, so... Gotta go wake up the Girl Scouts. Come on, Girl Scouts. Ready to go hike? No. <laughs> oh, there ain't no deer here. They're in there. Gotta go find them. Is that right? Yep. Ready, John? <laughs> Come on, you had your Doritos and everything. Someone's holding me hanging. There's a shovel down there, too. Someone got lucky. I think Actually, I could eat a whole box of these if I tried. I, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's easy. Once we started hiking... A whole box of what? Scooby Snacks. Sponsored by us. Yeah, sponsor us. We need some of these. Boost this energy on the mountain. You want it? No, it's a thunderhead. That's trash. I was gonna say it doesn't look very good. Could be a grouse cross one. How do you feel about that tree falling? Well, you know, you gotta be careful about the trees out here because as you can see there's a lot of dead trees. And when the wind blows, that's when they can fall. You don't want to have one of those fall on you. <laughs> so, try and stay clear. Find good spots that are cleared. And then you hang out. <laughs> we'll be on the top. <laughs> well, Tanner, where's John? Down there. And Jacob? down there. <laughs> Where's that? In the bottom. Why'd they go there? Find a forky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They uh, didn't want to come with us. I told them we we're going to see something. Doesn't believe me. We'll see. Tree fell on it. Don't fall. Don't fall. Trying to.
Dude, elk shit all day long. What do we got, Tanner? Let's pick her up. Nice. Nice shit, dude. Hell yeah. Heck yeah. That'll work. Let's find the other side. Pretty sweet little spot here. Thanks. What are we doing, John? Just looking for a big deer, driving around. I'm trying to find the maps, where we can hunt and where we can't hunt. <laughs> Haven't seen one yet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I think the one we saw last night was a little taller. Yeah. Oh, there he is. That's crazy. It's crazy how close they're embedded. <laughs> well, <laughs> the uh, Cheers. snow is coming down pretty good, so we're trying to stay warm. Drinking cold beer. <laughs> cold beer. Jacob left. Jacob left. That's what we're working with. It's four runners. Hopefully, can make it down the hill. <laughs> yeah, I doubt it, but it <laughs> might. So. That's how it goes sometimes. <laughs> See a whole lot of much. Two giant good deer that will be shooters on private. Uh, that one's a two on the left. Just a giant forty. Way outside of here. Here I 
time solo. Tanner had to go to town to get service <coughs> to do uh, school orientation. We spent most of the morning uh, driving until we got stuck. Tanner's new truck got stuck in the, the snow. We got about a foot of fresh snow out here. Sun's shining. Uh, we seen two good bucks this morning, but they're on private. But uh, trying a different spot. It's really open, so hopefully I can glass something up moving. But uh, we'll give it a hell and uh, see if we can't just get a buck killed tonight. The weather didn't allow for much camera use, but I did see some does, but no bucks on this new spot. The evening ended very uneventfully. A little chilly, but Tanner's packing up and heading out and going solo. Well, I'm out here solo now. Tanner went home, but uh, I just got on this knob and I just glassed some deer up with the bino, so I'm going to take the spotter out and see if there's a buck up there. They're out in the open. There's a ton of hunters, so we, uh, if there's a buck, we better go quick. So, stay tuned. Well, I spotted a good buck with my spotter from way down at the bottom. There's hunters, like, everywhere in between here. But, uh, I got all the way up here, ended up rushing it. I busted the buck. He was with some other bucks. Well, they took off. I didn't get a shot at him at all. And then uh, I just sat there and I could still see deer moving through the quakies, which are right over here behind me. Well, finally this little buck comes running out and uh, he just fed in front of me. I, my, foot was, my whole leg was falling asleep. But he fed there for about, I don't know, probably 25 minutes. But that long, it's not a big buck or nothing, but man, all the work we put into this hunt was coming out with some medicine, that's for sure. So, John, this one was for you, Tanner, Jacob, uh, John, John, you'll remember this spot, because this is the spot that you hiked up with me and Tanner, and that was where you ran out of gas. That was right where these deer were. So, uh, anyways, I'll show you the buck. A uh, giant, a little three-point, lots of venison though, <sighs> and no more, freezing my butt off, so let's get him cut up. Pretty good place to shoot a buck. <sighs> Loaded down stone glacier. And uh, this buck's gonna get a free ride back into the trailhead. <sighs> Man, this is gonna be a heavy load. I got the whole deer, all my gear, spotter, rifle, all that. But uh, we're gonna give it a go. <sighs> See you at the bottom.